Hello everyone, my name is Al and I'm a lady who can grow a beard and I'm about to embark on my third laser hair removal treatment. Yes, I've ended up keeping this appointment because I have some new growth to zap. So as I'm waiting for the amulet to just numb my face here, it's past its tingling phase and we're getting pretty close to being ready. I'll just tell you how my beard has been doing since the last video. First of all, I have a picture here of the hyperpigmentation that they warn about as a side effect from the laser. If you read my blog, you will have seen this already, but have a look. They look like really dark freckles in the treatment area. I didn't know what to imagine when they told me about hyperpigmentation as a result of the laser, and it was probably more noticeable this time because the intensity of the laser had been increased. So they faded after the first couple weeks. They were no big deal. Shedding was not terribly noticeable this time. I would see a couple strands on the washcloth every day, but there was no single day when almost everything fell out like last time. I did spend a few happy weeks with just a little bit of hair on each side of my chin here, a few on the bottom, and a couple on my jaw. Then about two weeks ago at the end of March, I started to notice more stubble than before. Most of the new growth is on my chin, as I'm indicating here, and a few more on the jaw here. Um, not a lot, and I know that this is normal, since each treatment only affects the hair that's in its active growth phase, and not every hair is in the same phase at the same time. These follicles here have just woken up, and it's time for them to die. So, I will see you soon. A little more painful than last time. I obviously had more hair, and the technician may have increased the intensity of the laser again. Neither of us were terribly communicative today, especially me. I have a cold, and my head feels like a balloon, so it's impossible to keep thoughts inside it, and it's way too much effort to keep a conversation going. I just relaxed and enjoyed the torture. She went over my chin twice, and the second time produced some particularly painful pops, so obviously she zapped some really good ones again today. Now I've been trying to find an answer to my own questions about laser hair removal, and how my first go at laser eight years ago could have worked and yet still allowed my beard to grow back. To be honest, I haven't had a lot of time to research. But when I asked the technician, she said that most people do have to return for touch-ups after their initial treatments are over. But if so, why is it that I have been under the impression for so long that laser hair removal is permanent, or that it is at least billed as permanent? And why have some of the results of my first sessions remained after all these years? There's this gap in my knowledge that I didn't realize was there. I don't know. I'm kind of bummed tonight. She gave me this pamphlet on Vanica, which in my brain is the thing that doctors suggest when they don't know what else to do. I don't even really like talking about Vanica just because I keep hearing it spoken of as a cure. And it's not a cure. It's just a way to slow down hair growth. That's all it does. The hair is still there. It just grows more slowly. And I've never really seen the benefit of that, especially when compared to the complaints of red skin and breakouts that I read about. So, I don't know, but I mean, I'll consider it. I didn't think laser hair removal would make the difference it already has. So, what do I really know? I haven't made an appointment for my next laser treatment. The technician suggested that I just wait and see and call when the next new growth comes in. So that's what I'm going to do. There is one happy note. I did learn that at the laser clinic I go to, they try all the products they offer themselves. I thought that was great. It means that uh, my laser technician has used Vanica on herself, and she thinks it's worthwhile. So, it's something to think about. Good night, all.